So this will be a quick video. I want to show you how to add a web page to an access form. So here I have a typical access form. I'm going to go ahead into design view. Now you make sure you have some space over here. So if you have to, you can extend the form out with the sizing handle. So at this point, I'm in design view and I'll pick on form design. I'm going to expand the controls here and we'll go with this one over here. It says uh, browser control. Now, I have Office 365, so this may not be available in the older versions. Uh, I'm going to click this, and I'll move my mouse over here and click there. Now, it's asking for a website, so the way I'm going to do it, I'll pick on the existing file or web page, and then if you click on this pull down, it'll show you history of your websites. So, for example, I mean, I can type in a website here, but I, I'll use one of these. I'll use Microsoft.com. I'll click OK. Now I'm going to make this window larger. So I'll just stretch it out, stretch it down with the sizing handles. And now let's run the form. So I'll go back to form view. Now, if you get this message, um, for some reason, not every web page is going to work. But just tell people if they see this message, um, just close that window and it should be fine. So now we see the web page and it actually works like they can actually pick the choices from the web page as we can say uh, now I might make that a little bit larger so I'll go back to design view and just make the um, the object bigger on the form I'll just stretch it out another couple inches or so good if, even over here I can probably make it bigger that should be fine let's run the form in form view so again if this message uh, comes up I'm just going to close that window not every website will display that message, but that's fine. I'm going to close that window. But now, notice how the web page is right in the form. So we went back to design view. And then we're going to go ahead and pick on this icon over here to add the web page to a form. Then when you're in design view, you can resize it, of course. I can also right click on that object and I'll pick on properties. And then you can change many of the features on the properties window, as we can say. So that's how we can add a web page to Microsoft Access Form.